So today I'm going to do a Q&A video, um, just responding to someone who asked me a question about the Kef LS50s and the Dali Opticon 6. So I'm replying to a question from someone called Harry. He says, I'm using Kef LS50s with my Hegel H90. H90, sorry. I'm getting really nice base, but I'm thinking about adding an SVS SB3000 to get a better lower frequency response. Unfortunately, two subs isn't an option for me. So it's either stick with my LS50s and add a subwoofer or get some Dali Opticon 6s. What do you think? My room is 4.5 meters by 3.5 meters and I sit about 2.5 meters away from the speakers. I'm just going to start this by letting you know that I haven't heard your amplifier, your Hegel H90, but I've heard it's excellent. So um, obviously you already have that, so you know how it kind of operates. Um, however, I have, I have heard the Dali Opticon 6. I own the Dali Opticon 6. I've had the Kef LS50s as well. I've owned them for a brief period of time and I know someone, a relative of mine, actually owns those speakers so I've heard enough of those two speakers to make a judgment I think. The amplifiers that I've used the Yamaha AS801 and I've used these amplifiers with those with these speakers okay so Yamaha AS801, Yamaha Avantage 3070 which is an AV receiver top of the line before you go into separates. I've heard the Marantz 6005 and I've also heard the Marantz SR7008 receiver, but I've only heard the SR7008 with the Dalis. I haven't heard those with the Kefs. I've heard them on the Anthem MRX710 as well. Also, I've tested them with the Class D amplifier by Hypex, the NC252, which I highly recommend. It's a very, very clean sounding, powerful amplifier. So but this is what I've actually used, okay? So responding firstly, I'm going to break your answer down. First of all, the subwoofer, you've mentioned that you want to get this SB3000. That's a subwoofer I've been personally interested in for a while now. I believe it's a 13 inch cone. I think if you actually measure it, it's just about 14 inches actually. And I believe it's, um, this is just from memory, I believe it's an 800 watt sealed. I also think it must have the DSP, the SVS DSP um, built in, the, the equalization, um, the parametric equalization. It's got all that built in and I think you can use it with an app as well, which is very, which is actually a very, very powerful tool if you want to easily integrate that subwoofer into a room. So that's very good. I have heard the SB2000, which is the closest thing to the SB3000, I think. Now I want to reiterate, Harry wants one subwoofer just one subwoofer and I'm just going to say it's always hard to integrate a subwoofer into a room when you try to pair it with bookshelf or stand mount speakers. Now when you integrate one subwoofer it's even harder to integrate it nicely. So the first question is do you have a way of calibrating the subwoofer and secondly do you have something to analyze the acoustics of the room. If you do then your life is going to be a lot easier and you know, it's going to be easier to integrate it with the um, with the LS50. I think SVS make it quite easy to do that with the app. So um, perhaps that's a good place to start by checking out how powerful that app is. Personally, I always think if you want to really analyze the acoustics of a room, you're going to need a really good mic to be able to do that. And some, you know, it's hard to do it on your own. But some software to analyze everything is something you're going to need. So. Um, yeah, if anyone got any questions about that, just put it in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Back to the room now, the room. The room is 4.5 meters, 3.5 meters, okay, in the dimensions, 4.5 by 3.5, which makes 15.75 meters squared. You're sitting 2.5 meters from the speakers. Now, one thing to not never forget is the height of the room. I'm going to assume it's 2.5 meters in height, okay? But if it's bigger than that, if it's taller than that, like quite a bit taller, then that gives you more of a justification to get the floor stander option, the Opticon 6s. Because your room, if I'm right about your the height of your room, 
it's 1390.5 cubic meters sorry cubic feet and 39.4 cubic meters so this is really classed as a small room you're verging on to a medium sized room and in small sized rooms you shouldn't really use floor standing speakers but you know that is just uh, that's just a rule of thumb at the end of the day you have to decide it's up to you uh, if you like it or not but my question is how far from this from the wall will those speakers be will you have enough distance between the left and right hand side and the back will you be able to set the speakers up symmetrically as well that's another important thing you can't put the speakers Ideally, you shouldn't put the speakers off center. They should be center. They should be equal distance either side. If you can do that, then the Dalis might actually be good. They might be optimal. If you can't do that, you're going to get some boundary gain. And uh, basically, you know, these Dalis, they are very prone to it. They're quite big speakers. I've heard them close to a wall. The bass really gets, a, gets an amplification and uh, you need to you need to make sure that you're able to keep all of that under control. Now, the KEF LS50, I've made a video about that. There's some things I liked about that, but there was a lot of things I didn't like about that. The Dali Opticon 6s, again, I've made a video about that. There's a lot of things I like about it, but there's a few things I don't like about it. So naturally, I'm more biased towards the Dali Opticon 6s because I enjoyed those speakers. So just bear that in mind as we go on. Now, music genres. When you ask me the question, I feel like this is a very important thing to ask you about the music genres. What type of genre do you listen to? Do you listen to a lot of genres? Because I think Dali, as a brand, it's all about the music. It's all about the music. If you, even if you look at their brand ethos and all that sort of stuff, it's all about the music. With Kef, it's all about they're trying to reproduce a sound as neutrally as possible, right? And that doesn't always translate into naturally as possible because your room is something that interferes with the sound, okay? So, yeah, Dali, very musician, mu music, musicality focused. The Kef LS50 is about the reproduction of sound with trying to take everything that's been added or uh, added and taken away, taking all of that out, a neutral sound. So I feel with the musical genres, with the music genres, if you're listening to a lot, it's very difficult to make the Dalis sound bad. You know, they sound good across all the genres. I haven't played a piece of music which I thought sounded rubbish on the Dalis, I really haven't. The LS50s, sometimes they sound outstanding, sometimes for the price they sound excellent you know but sometimes a lot of the time actually the sound to me is a bit unbearable it can be a bit analytical and in some recording it doesn't sound very good so that's another thing if you have excellent music you know i mean you've got the ls50 so are you happy with the way they sound on every single track if sometimes the answer is no you know i'm telling you well i've had that i've got the dali sorry and I've had the LS50s and I very rarely say I don't like how that Dali sounds. The Dali is more of a speaker where I can lay back and I can just get on with the music, I can enjoy the music. I'm not looking on my phone or I'm not getting the remote to, to, to go on to the next track. I'm not trying to do that with the Dalis, with the Kefs. I'm trying to, I'm, you know, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. All right, let's, let's move on to the next track. Let's hear that one. That's kind of how I can put it to you. It's like the Dali just has that edge with the musicality. Everything sounds really nice with the Dalis. Now, overall, when we're talking about detail, I think the Kef is more detailed than the Dalis. But I think the Dalis, because of literally, think about it, they're big floor standers. I think the Dalis definitely beat the Kefs for the sound stage. And also, when you think about the Kef, the Dali wide dispersion principle where you're meant to have the the speakers off axis so they're not meant to be pointing at your ears you get an even wider sound stage and it actually they pull it off it does actually sound very good it sounds very realistic as well um, if you're listening to something like live concerts or something like that the Dalis are excellent for that but where the Kef beat the Dalis is for imaging for stereo imaging they're more detailed with the stereo imaging you can 
more accurately pinpoint where certain sounds are coming from. Okay, so Dali's have a bigger sound stage, less precise imaging. The Kef's have a smaller sound, sound stage with more precise imaging. Again, it depends on what you're looking for. The Dali's also beat the Kef for bass. We know that. Um, yeah, we know that. But I think that with the, the Kef's, if you have a properly integrated subwoofer, it would beat the Dali's for bass, especially something like the SB3000. It's going to knock the Dali's out of the park for bass extension and uh, and punch and, and the, the, the tightness because it's a sealed unit. It's going to be able to to knock the Dali's out of the park for for things like that. So uh, the other benefit as well with the SVS SB3000 is that if you ever did want to use it for home cinema purposes, you could combo the LS50 with the SVS and it would be excellent for a home cinema. In fact, I've heard the S, uh, the S, not the SVS, the LS50s as a home theatre package where we use the, the speakers left and right and we use one of those speakers as a centre speaker. Just They're all identical all around you. It's actually a very nice uniform sound, the LS50s as a home theatre package. So that's a benefit. If you ever did want to do that, you got the SVS, you got the LS50s, for home cinema, it would be great. Much better than, the, I think, than the Dali's it would be. Another thing is the balance. I feel like the, the Dali's will give you, if you give the Dali's excellent amplification, right? If you give them excellent amplification, again, I haven't heard your amplifier, but I've heard good things. The Class D amp I used on the Dali's, it was excellent. It was a very clean sound. The bass was punchy, very high damping factor on that amplifier. It just had so much weight and so much control. You know, it was it was it was an it was just the best version of the Dali's that it could be. I think maybe the higher end could have been a little bit more musical, but you know, with that amplifier, it was like it was honestly like a different speaker. Um, yeah, I mean, it still sounded like the Dali's, but it was just kind of like the best version of that speaker. So again, it all depends on that. Um, how, how much of a high fidelity speaker are you looking for? If you partner the Dali's with an excellent amplifier, it's gonna be great, it's, it's gonna be fantastic. It all depends on how much fidelity you're looking for. Sometimes I found too much fide fidelity, it spoils the music because not everything is gonna sound good. And I can, I can guarantee that because I've got links. Uh, I know people in the music industry and um, the gear that these people are using, not everyone uses the best studio recording equipment. So if you've got better, better recording, like not, sorry, if you've got better playback equipment than they have for recording, then you're gonna be hearing things that they haven't heard themselves in the, in the studio. So, you know, I'm just telling you now, like, uh, you know, not everything is recorded correctly. It's not everything is recorded with a lot of detail and a lot of time. So sometimes high fidelity is too much. But for things like acu acoustic music, then obviously hi-fi really comes into its own because you can hear the details of the actual sound. So that's different. If you listen to some synthesized music, then it's not always the best. Another thing to consider is the Dali's will take up more room. They need more room and they take up more room because they're big. But I also feel that the Dali's are a simpler setup. It's just one set of speakers. With your Kef LS50 and SVS combo, you're gonna need a subwoofer. And don't forget, the, you've got bookshelves, but you need stands as well to get them sounding the best. So you've got speaker uh, stands to consider. You've got subwoofer placement to consider. You've got the extra wiring to consider. You've got crossover concerns with your, uh, with your added subwoofer as well. And you've got isolation as well that you have to consider because that subwoofer should really be isolated from the ground as much as possible especially if you live in an apartment so that's another thing finally i think if you are looking for the answer for stereo music only and that's literally all you care about i think the dali wins they always sound good they don't really do anything wrong the bass is there in spades they have a lovely treble. If you've heard the, the treble of the Dali's and you like that, that, then it's gonna be hard for you to find something that beats it. However, if you want a versatile setup that's very detailed, 
the Kef LS50 and the subwoofer is probably going to be a better way to go because you have room to upgrade you have more tuning ability over the sound and you also have the capability of using it as a movie setup because you can use the SVS with a de dedicated LFE uh, feed so that's going to be a massive thing the other thing to consider is the price in the in our final kind of conclusion you know you're comparing the opticons which is like a thousand pound set of speakers and they're their floor standards and we're comparing that to ls50s with sb3000 and that's about two thousand pound in total plus the stands if you're putting them on stands i think that a better alternative would be if you like the sound of dali if you like the dali sound why not try the opticon 2s with a subwoofer because that would be a fairer test against your LS50s with a subwoofer. And I personally, I think that that is going to be a better combination overall. Because I just think that they're going to be easier to integrate with subwoofers. Because it's a slightly bigger speaker, the Opticon 2s. It will have more bass extension, which means the subwoofer will be crossed over even lower, which is what you want. Typically, you want the crossover on a sub to be the, uh, the lowest it possibly could, it can be. So um, yeah, you're gonna probably get better integrated sound. If you like the Dali sound, you'll, you'll probably prefer it to the Kef LS50. You got a bigger speaker. Um, yeah, and uh, that's, that's all I can say about that. And if you want even better than that, you know, for, maybe a few hundred quid more if you re the money doesn't really matter to you that much it depends on your budget you could even up one and go for the rubicon twos and cross the uh, combine uh, combo the rubicon twos with your sb3000 and no doubt that's going to definitely be better than the kefs with the sb3000 because it's going to be like the opticon twos but even more detailed but never never losing the musicality and personally, that's that's what I'm all about. I'm all about getting as much hi-fi as possible, but not losing the musicality, making sure that speaker sounds good across all genres. That's a very important thing to me. So I hope this video answered your question. Any more questions, just let me know. I'll see you next time. Any updates, I'll put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video. Did you like it? If you did, then please give us a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content. I'll see you next time.